It's a good bonding thing. I mean, it's a, it's a good laugh. I mean, it's a pretty uh, strenuous season in the Super League there, so to get out and have a good laugh together, it's uh, it's a good thing to bring us all together. Well, there's some real dirty driving going on, uh, and there's a couple of missed days as well, so it were, uh, we're entertaining. James Onnes is looking on fire at the moment. Uh, the rest of the guys are more interested in trying to bash each other off the track than and have a game of dodgems and actually win the race. But James Alderson seems pretty focused and is out in front, I think. How about best, I think? To be no, fair. I think I, I lapped everyone about twice, so it'd be all right if you had some competition. Yeah, yeah, so you won quite comfortably. <laughs> yeah, easy, just steady We'll away. see, we'll see. And where were you really? Uh, probably at back. Yeah. Still at weight more, so that's why it's a bit slower in my car than the rest of them. Well, we've got Adam O'Brien, who, who is definitely Miss Daisy. Uh, Matt Diskin drives like that on purpose, just so he can, he can cause havoc, so he's he don't want to be in the clear, he'll wait for people and he's probably the dirtiest driver, is Matt Diskin. Yeah, it's just, it's just, just to get a bit, just get a bit of fun and just upset everybody else, really. After a turbulent year in 2012, Bradford have made an impressive start to the new campaign. Sunday's win over Hull KR saw them move third in Super League and coach Francis Cummings is keen to draw on the experience of last season. Well, it's, it's been a big focus from you know the lads who were here, um, and even the recruits we've brought in. His focus has been that you know um, you, you nearly had your profession taken away from you, all that uncertainty from last year. Now you've got the certainty that you'll get paid. The other bit is now we need to invest in his careers, and the ones we've brought in are you know they wanted to kickstart the career or, or earn a career. So we're all very much very similar. So. Um, You've got to keep drawing on your experiences and you know that's what I will do for the boys but they can do that as well now. They experience something that not many people, you know, well I hope nobody has to do it again but not many people can draw on that experience and they need to keep that close because they can remember the feelings of, you know, is it going to be a club, I'm going to have a job, I haven't be able to pay the mortgage, well that's not, not a nice uh, place to be in. The atmosphere within the club has clearly changed this year and Cummins seems to have made a smooth transition into the role of head coach. I think it could have been harder coming in from uh, being assistant coach, but he's he's come in and uh, he's done a fantastic job from the from day one. He he let the boys know how he wanted things done, and everyone's gone and done it. Everyone loves him. You know what I mean? He's he's quite young himself. You know what I mean? And a lot of us in this team are young lads, and, uh, so he's got a lot of enthusiasm and stuff. So. And uh, good communication with all the players, you know what I mean? So it helps a lot more if you can, you feel all right to talk to your coach, you know what I mean? He's, he's doing a great job. Yeah, the boys have reacted really well. Fran has been, been good, really. He's put his mark on the team. He's made a real emphasis to changing the culture of the club, which, which we'll get in there with. You know, that doesn't happen overnight. It takes a little while and we're making good progress with it. Fran, he's a, a natural coach. He's very, uh, very easy to speak to and he's, uh, I think he gets the best out of his players. So I think uh, you'll find everyone here is very happy and we're looking forward to the rest of the season.